this one's for you. They're marketing this to you. They're pandering to you. Who am I talking about? Black women. Black women, have you noticed how the media and commercials, marketing groups, have you noticed who they're trying, how they're advertising things? Have you noticed how films are promoting a certain, they're promoting interracial dating black women and white men more than ever because they're trying to sell films. They want to get, they know who's paying the most, they know who uses the most disposable income in America. I will be, I will go out on a limb to say it's, it's definitely women, but I would say that it's black women. You know, white women's, no, white women probably, probably outspend them because they have more money to spend, but black women, they're more, I would say that they're more frivolous with their money and only because they just haven't, we haven't just, only because we haven't been over here for, and been able to attain these things. That's the only reason, only because we was brought over here uh, on slave ships and weren't able to attain certain, uh, certain statuses in life due to systemic racism and just the, the country oppression you're not being able to do it so you're just behind on catching this wave of that the white women have already been on with spending that you have their own group of women fighting against that this mentality of spending it the tiffany the tiffany mentality oh oh i need this look at the tiffany mentality within the, the um the caucasian race that meant they've seen this played out in many movies you know the mean girls the that type of mentality the spoil brat mentality they are mark now you have black women adopting that mentality do you think that they had that black women had that mentality in the 60s in the in the in the you know the 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 times when segregation was going on no 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 you didn't have that now Again, I'm not saying that black women shouldn't want nice things or shouldn't want to be a part of just having nice things like whatever. I can't say you want to be a part of white society. It's not even about that. You want to be a part of American culture. That's what it is, because, you know, it was built by by everybody. We everybody built this culture, blacks and whites. Well, that's what I mean. Blacks and white people, Um even the Native Americans, you know, but I consider them to be, you know, ethnic, the ethnic people and, and Caucasians. White people didn't just build this country by themselves. But what they're promoting now, they promoted stuff to the to the black man, but they realize that he's the one who's not. He's a man. He's not going to be manipulated. He's not going to be swayed. It's not. They promote to gay black men, but it's not straight black. And they promote certain. Don't get me wrong. They've promoted, I've, like, let me take that back. They've promoted the wrong things to black men. Like we, they've promoted um, hip hop. We've we definitely bought into that. Bought into the malt liquor commercials. We we've bought into a lot of that. Let's not be like they've tried to promote that to us. And you get a lot of rappers trying to promote liquor and I like that's yeah. We they do promote things to to black men as well. But right now, what I want to talk about specifically is the promotion of the interracial relationship that's on all of the media between and this has been talked about before but black women and white men every time you look at a um a piece of media when they want to toss in into a little interracial action it's always they try to sell they're always trying to sell you a black woman and a white man like that's the most like that's the fairy tale or the um the the movie that's the movie fake that they want to sell you they want to sell you like the movie magic that's the movie magic is what i'm looking for the movie magic that they want to sell you and it's like okay but it gets old after a while it's like okay that's fine we we see it but you don't have like switch it up why when you next time when you're doing interracial or why oh for, why can't you now it's getting to the point now where it's getting rare to see a black man and a black woman couple just casually in a movie 
a, a black family where a black man is with a black woman and they have a family and it's and they don't even see that as being realistic that's not seen as being realistic at this point and i don't like that that's not see we don't have a problem with the interracial relationships you know the put you can have those in the in the films if when it makes sense but switch it up sometime and we also want to see more black intact families in these in these films you don't have to just out but look i know why you do this that's a quit and black women you have to understand and start paying attention they're pandering to you because they want to sell you something and they see that you have some money they see that you're a group who now because i say historically black women didn't have uh the type of disposable income that white women have had or other the other groups of women have had over here so now that they have been played they they have uh positions and and things where they can nothing's holding anyone back you can do whatever you need to do so now they've came into a little more money not saying that they you know make it more than than any other group but they're they have more disposable income it's just proven this is just the case because of the barriers that's broken down so now they see a new group new money that they can get so they're trying to pander to you in any way they ain't saying that they care about you you know the powers that be or the people making these films or behind this propaganda they didn't care about the black men when they was promoting you know the um the saint eyes malt liquor and all that other stuff that you know the cools they didn't care about the families then or nobody else so it's not about caring about you <laughs> they're marketing to you because they know that you are willing to spend some money and and i beg to say like i said and we need to black women need to really adapt here and learn how to not just be manipulated by all the propaganda just frivolous spending because you could be building something in the community right now don't just depend on the men you know you could be actually building something you know to help your community help your sons and daughters out here in the black community don't just depend on the men you know if you say that they're not gonna you know you feel that they're not doing something but again you have this isn't the only time that this has been done you're not the only group of people that they do this to you you know they're gonna be pan they pander to the gays they they're pandering to black homosexual men they're plant uh, pandering to they're gonna pander to who they have to hispanics when it when it when it needs to be but it's just in a different way but right now when you turn on your just mark now you're gonna pay attention to it that i now that i said it when you look at television black these interracial relationships it's going to be a black woman and a white man. They're trying to push that on screen. You've heard Gilbert Arenas talk about this. Um, you've heard other people talk about this before. Like you saw the glimpses of it. Now it's just getting it's just getting to be it's getting old. It's, they do it so much. It's getting to be old. Like it's getting played out. It's played out at this point because you're doing it so much. You know, we have saw this before and it's not a problem again but have, mix it up we want to see black men with white women we want to see you know hispanic women black men we want to see um black women hispanic men we want to see black woman let her get an arab you know like they've done that you know like it's fine whatever and i really don't care at the end of the day it, it really don't matter to me on that end but all i'm saying i just bring this up for black women for you to pay attention that that's who they're they're pandering to you because they want to get you to buy something they want you to get get in there and, and buy into the fantasy or buy they product and things like that but at the end of the day do white do people couple with their own race for the most part like in majority yes does black cultures and white cultures a lot of times kind of they especially now are they kind of um do they are they not mixing they don't always mix 
is what I'm saying. They're, like not saying that we don't love one another and don't um, can't coexist. Those cultures in dating are, are sometimes can be those cultural barriers can sometimes be difficult to navigate. Let's just be honest for a lot of people and a lot of people just choose not to deal with that. And that's white men, black men, black women, white women like that happens a lot. You know, so sometimes, you know, and we don't want to just make fetishes. They a lot of times they put the sexual stuff on screen, like black man and just sexualizing a white man or a white man sexualizing a black woman. And you see that on screen, you know, and that's kind of like, you know, we don't want to fetishize these one our women being fetishized and all that. Like, that's not good either. So that's why you see this weird stuff that pop up on the Internet. But that's all, you know, at the end of the day, date who you want. We just want to see a mix and quit trying to toss this. We see what you're doing. Quit pandering, man. So with that being said, it's the black effect, real black effect. I'm gone.